Welcome back to Alphabets to Let's Play Natural Ma uh, Final Fantasy VI Natural Magic Game. I'm your host, HKHD, and we are running the hell away. Um, as you see, I have a counter. I've already lost time in getting everything ready. Uh, we're getting the hell out of here. I already went ahead and set up Trisha beforehand to make sure that she'd be ready for this. So she already has her abilities and weapons all set up. So we're just going to get the hell out of here. I think I remember the proper path, because there are a couple of things I can get items, but I have to be able to get them in the proper uh, direction. Frozen. Of course he is. Thank you very much. Just when I need him the most. Alright, that part of the world just fell away. Awesome. I don't know why I'm doing this, because I got the feeling uh, ice won't work very well on him, but we'll see. Yeah, no. Doesn't work very well. Okay. That's okay. Those do. That's right. If I go around this way, instead of actually crossing it, I can get this item. Freeze. Yeah, I don't care if you freeze him. He's not useful to me. You know, the funny thing is, that weapon, I believe, is, it's called the Morning Star. And that's actually a chain flail. Which is something completely different. Elixir! Alright, so I'm going to equip her with the Flame Tongue and move her into the front row. Because this is going to be a nice base boss. No, it's not. You think I'm going to let you escape? Oh, I don't like Doom. Well, I mean, I do like Doom. It's kind of a fun game. And fun enough that I might do a Let's Play of it in, in some way, shape, or form. So, the first part of this, uh, you will have only uh, uh, audio footage. Because, and I had to learn Doom. Okay, because uh, I forgot to start recording. I need to stop doing that. Uh, my video footage. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I beat that boss. He was nothing. Oh, okay. Well, let me make sure I didn't miss anything over in this little area. Uh, I have nothing but time to kill at this point. Because, um, as it stands right now, I will be waiting on... Uh, snake anyway to make sure that I get him for later so nothing but time to kill done oh they don't give me any experience or anything well, who on you okay nothing over there all right so yeah I'm just gonna walk over here this escape scene being longer. We're gonna run over here. We are waiting. So yeah, um... Sorry about you guys missing the first portion of this, uh, but I kinda had to hurry to get things started because the timer was going. Um, and it started at 6 minutes. By the time I actually got started to record, it was at 5.30, so you already lost 30 seconds. Um... So yeah, the first, I don't know, two to three minutes of this is, is going to be cut off, unfortunately. Uh, that's alright, this is going to be kind of a short episode anyway. Uh, I'm basically going to get through this next cutscene, to, to let you know what's going to go on. I'm going to get through this next cutscene, uh, which is going to uh, show the world of Ruin. Uh, and once I get to the world of Ruin, I'm going to uh, save it and end it so that I can begin the next session of the game. Uh, clear off from the the, the world of ruin. Um, I may go ahead and do the first part, which is feeding the fish uh, to Sid. I don't know if I want to let him. It takes a good deal of work to try to keep him alive, and you don't really get anything if you do. He just kind of walks around the island from that point on. Don't know what I mean? You'll see. You'll see when I get there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I still have to decide that. But I'll basically just... I'll, I'll get there. I'll get to the point where I can save it. I will save it. Um, so this will be kind of a short episode. And then... Uh, yeah, the next episode will be the beginning of the World of Ruin, which will be fun. It might, uh, it's definitely an interesting place when the world is all screwed up. 
Kefka won. I mean, this this is why Kefka is my favorite villain. I mean, the favorite favorite Final Fantasy villain because he's actually gone and done. I mean, he's he's chaos in person, but he's gone and done what he was talking about. All right, this is why we were waiting. Hey, look, Snake! I'd never be able to rest in peace if I died without collecting my pay. See, if I didn't wait, I wouldn't be able to get him back later. Is there a way to stop their magic? Uh-oh. 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 This doesn't look good. Somebody's about to get royally screwed. Ooh, ah, yeah. See, this, this is this is what happens when when Kefka. Oh, did you see that? Opened up, fell in, then got crushed by the earth. Oh, this. This is worse than Lavos. And the future refused to change, right there. Ah. Oh. On that day, the world was changed forever. Yeah. Damn you, Kefka. Damn you to hell. There's still birds, and there's the little house. Beaten up. So, we are in a post-apocalyptic world now. Well, post-post-apocalyptic, because the War of the Magi screwed everything up already. But now, it's even worse. Hey, it's Sid! Trisha. So while Francesca was kind of the main character, the, the beginning of the first part of the game, it, it, Trisha's kind of the main character, the, the beginning of the second part of the game. Um, like I've said before, the, the it's an ensemble cast, so there really is no main character, but you kind of have, you know, you have chapters that where, where different characters are main. Um, and this point is Trisha. I don't remember the voice I had for Sid. Oh, Trisha. Wow, that's right. You're finally awake. How long have I been sleeping? One year as of today. I'm starting to think you might be out for good. A year. A year. She has been in a she's been asleep for a year. She can still stand. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. You've been taking care of me this whole time. Yep. I gotta say, I'm a bit naggered. We're on a tiny, deserted island. The world was torn apart. I awoke to find us here. If the world was torn apart, that wasn't just a dream. What about everyone else? Where, where's H? I don't know. For all I know, this island could be the only part of the world that's still above water. Ever since that day, the world's been sliding deeper and deeper into ruin. 
plants wither, animals waste away. The people who were here, here with us all gave up hope. One after the next, they flung themselves from the northern cliffs to despair. So, everyone could already be. Trisha, try not to take it out so hard. We can, still live out, we can still live out our lives together in peace. Well, the closest thing to family I have left in this world. Yes. I suppose you're right, Sid. Should I say, Grandad? Is it alright if I call you that? Grandad, eh? <laughs> you're gonna make an old man blush. All of a sudden, I have a granddaughter. <coughs> 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 <laughs> <laughs> you must be hungry, Granddad. I, uh, actually haven't had anything to eat since I fell ill three days ago. What'd you like? Well, unless I ask for fish, won't get anything. That's all there is here. I'll go catch some. So. This is the world after ruin. All right, so just like I said, I'm going to go ahead and save it here. Um I will uh, come back again in the next episode where we kick off the world of ruin. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, return back for more Final Fantasy VI, the natural magic game. I am your host, HKHD. May the Force be with you.